Sometimes patience is an important thing, and when it comes to Terra Luna Classic, well, sometimes we don't have enough of it. We're going to break down exactly what is being said about this USTC proposal. Is it happening, or is it on the sidelines? All of that in this video, as well as taking a look at some of the price action. So if that's something you're interested in, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Smash a like if you're still bullish on Luna Classic. And with that being said, let's take a quick look at the overall cryptocurrency market to give us a feel of exactly where we are. Well, we saw a very strong move up on Saturday, 26.431 is the current price of Bitcoin with a 48.1 dominance that tells us people are buying Bitcoin as opposed to altcoins. And actually, when you come through the chart, you can see there, there is a significant amount of red amongst a lot of the cryptocurrencies out there. XRP probably the only one booking the trend as we get ever nearer to finding out that answer against the SEC. Now, if we scroll down a little bit and we get to into the 60s and we get to the 66th Highest ranked cryptocurrency out there right now. We see Terra Luna Classic currently trading 8879, down 3.17% with our volume at 36.6 million. So this is down from testing those zeros as we went to parity. Now, if you're watching my live streams or you've been here for a while, you knew that this was absolutely a buy the rumor, sell the news and that we were definitely going to get a dump on the back of it. The important thing is how far we retrace. Now, it's not the end of the world. We did probably come back a little bit further than I would have liked, but there is a rumor and a reason for that. So what am I talking about? And specifically, why is the chart moving down? Well, we've kind of had a little bit of a set to or a little bit of people going at each other, in particular around Rex and Red Line Drifting. Now, for those of you who don't know, both active members in the development of Luna Classic. Equally, both have played intrinsical parts in making sure that we are where we are today. But Rex says, as of today, further until further notice, direct lines of communication between centralized exchanges and Redline Drifter have been severed due to a breach of trust by another individual. I ask that the Lunt community no longer reach out to me in regards to this topic anymore. So very clear point there as to exactly what has happened. Now, again, this is all part of the USTC repeg, the burns and whether, whether centralized exchanges would support the increase in burns and likewise that repeg to USTC without the exchanges. Well, fundamentally, we don't really have much. And I think that is the important part where you really need to start to understand this, that as much as on chain volume we've got, you have to have centralized exchange buying because that's ultimately how we get this out to the masses. So if we don't have centralized exchanges supporting us, it's going to be incredibly difficult to land this. Now, what does Redline Drifter say? Well, there was a comment from here from Stu Lee says, I think it's time you address the rumors that Binance have said no to the repeg proposal. If that's the case, we need to know why and what they have said in their chance of moving on. So Redline Drifter says, whether we are is ex where we are is exactly as I've said in the update, the exchanges move on their time and not ours. I think the community assumes all centralized exchanges love us, but after the huge pressure we put them under with the burn tax, they do not like dealing with us. I've seen anything burn related immediately shut down or ignored. The fact that they took my proposal and that it was sent to the technical departments for more independent review shows they see merit in it and what we are trying to do. One of the biggest centralized exchanges has come back with an infrastructure issue on their end. It is not no, but it does mean it will require them to affect the changes to make it compatible to get them to begin affecting the changes i think we need to show them a more thorough proof of concept and i and indicate exactly how much profit the centralized exchanges stand to gain through implementation if they stand to make multiples of the implementation cost then we can prove that then we are in a position to ask them to affect the changes i do not have the experience necessary to give them the level of report required this is why i'm proposing the quant team to do just that having spent quite a bit of time since the crash investigating ustc for possible solutions and looking at the different repeg proposals put forward, I will say with confidence that no matter what we do with USTC, whether it's my proposal or someone else's, we are going to need centralized exchange assistance. This is such a high percentage of tokens off chain that any on chain only repeg efforts will have minimal or negligible impact. So ultimately, what does that mean? If we don't have centralized exchanges supporting USTC, it's going to be incredibly hard to implement our USTC repeg, which for me is the fundamental route to how we get Luna Classic back to, you know, 50 cents, a dollar, ten dollars, hundred, whatever it is. USTC is one of the most intrinsical parts because it will burn a significant amount of Luna Classic. What we need to understand, though, is that right now, a lot of centralized exchanges are naturally nervous about USTC repeg and equally the burning of Luna Classic. Now, what has happened in regards to this is ultimately someone has betrayed the level of trust between Redline Drifter whether you know, and Rex and these centralized exchanges, which may be causing the centralized exchange to be nervous. We don't fully know 
right now the extent of what's gone on and more importantly what has kind of happened but rex here is pretty obvious and pretty frustrated it says as of today until further notice direct lines of communication between cxs and red line have been severed i asked the lunt community no longer reach out to me which we kind of talked about right at the very start there's a lot of things going on with terraport as well and equally a lot of things going on just in terms of this repeg from USTC. So what does the chart look like? Well, we saw this big dump on the back of a lot of this news of the rumor. And it is a rumor. This is the thing that happens with Luna Classic all the time is the smallest rumor gets completely accentuated. And we see these huge sell-offs that we saw today. So a massive amount there that we sold off on both the Luna Classic last in that half an hour. Now we are coming back as people understand and get under the fact that, you know, this can and is only a rumor at the minute that Binance will not support the USTC repeg. Right now, Binance has a ton of things going on. The USTC repeg is probably the last thing on their mind. What do I think? Well, let's hold the phone. Let's see what happens. Let's let Binance deal with what they've got to deal with. Let's get this USTC repeg uh, test environment rebuilt. Let's really hold the L1 Task Force team to account in terms of their fundamentally the people we are paying. Get this test environment come in. Start to look and retest what is going on with that repeg proposal. And that for me will give us a stronger position to really go and debate some of this stuff on Luna Classic. I'm still bullish on Luna Classic. Long term, I still hold. I'm still staking. But ultimately, this is the biggest thing right now. I think for Luna Classic, a USTC decentralized stablecoin could be huge given and now parity with the Cosmos ecosystem. But let me know what you think in the comments down below. USTC and Luna Classic, though, having a slight rally. We'll keep you up to date with everything going on if you subscribe to the channel, turn the notification bell on. And as ever, thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to hit the like on your way out, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.